the Lakers anticipated winning the game. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. <laughs> why? AD wore his special shoes. They had on the Mamba jerseys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Undrafted Views. We're here. We talk sports from the sidelines. And today, we're going to talk about Game 5 of the NBA Finals 2020 Heat against the Lakers. And guess who won the game? The who won? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> score was 111 to 108. And I'm here to tell you the Heat brought the fire. Today, we're going to talk about some reasons why the Heat brought the win in game five. Let's get started. Okay. Well, you know, let me just say the Lakers anticipated winning the game. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. <laughs> why? AD wore his special shoes. They had on the Mamba jerseys. They, they had the champagne on ice. They had the confetti ready to go. They even started showing the game in China. Let me just say. Everybody thought the Lakers were going to win that game. However, they did. Duncan Robinson said, oh, no, 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 not on my watch. Need I remind you that I'm not new to this? I may be new to the heat for this year, but I played in the G League. Yeah, I got some, I got a little bit of skill and I'm going to display it in game five and you guys are going to be shocked. <laughs> Let me just say, up. yeah, that's basically what it was. Now, Duncan... He played a great game overall. He did. Overall, I think um, the Lakers weren't ready for him because he has struggled a lot in this series. And I think that they probably said, okay, we're not going to pay as much attention to Duncan. But in game five, he decided to go seven for 13 from the three-point line. 20. And Eric Spolster kept, kept, you know, going to Duncan. And Lakers points. had no answer. 21 points. Just 21 points, and I'm going to show y'all how to shoot this three ball. Now, I may not do it. I didn't do it in game four successfully. But game five, let me show you my quick release. Let me give it to you real quick <laughs> while I am still kind of moving. Let me just show you how to do that, even with a defender up on me. Let me just – I don't have to – I don't really necessarily – Duncan Robinson, though, I don't really necessarily need to plant my feet. I don't got to – I don't have to pump fake. I don't have to do all of that. I can just pretty much release the ball. And when he gets in his rhythm, is what he was in game five, it was yeah. lights out. So, yeah, he was a big contributor to the reason why <laughs> the Heat won game five. Yes. And, and, you know, he had a nice supporting cast. See, that's what I like about the Heat. They play team basketball. You never know who's going to stand out that particular game. There is not one player that they go to. For every play, there is not one player that has to touch the ball every time, every time down. That's what I like about them. Now, Jimmy Buckets is going to give you everything he has. He is going to leave everything on the court. In game five, he dropped 35 points, 12 rebounds and 11 assists. And he was undeniable. You hear me? Undeniable. I appreciate Jimmy because I emotionally feel attached to him when he plays the game. Mm, yeah. It's like, you know, he is giving max effort. And when he went after he got that file, the last one, I'm going to say one of maybe the second to the last foul he actually received when he drove the basket and he went to the side and he kind of leaned over. Oh. I felt as though that was, I am, you don't, in my mind, I'm thinking he's probably saying, you don't know how much I got to get it because I'm exhausted. You know, how you have those moments where you're like, I'm really working hard to get it together because if I can sit down, but I'm not mm -hmm. because I got a team to help support. Now that I have a team to lead, but I have a team to help support. Right. And I'm going to be 100% when I step on this court. So just give me this few seconds before I go to the free throw line to get my <laughs> mind right. Right. And I appreciate the way he exhausts his energy to help the team win. I appreciate that. And he really gives me the, it's not really about me. I feel mm -hmm. that. I know people say it. I get it. And I'm going to get people involved. I understand what you're saying, but your bodily expressions doesn't express that. For me, Jimmy does. And I always appreciate watching him play. So when he, when the heat wins, I'm like, yes, it, mm -hmm. it feels good. It feels good. And so, I, yeah, Jimmy, come on, Jim. 
Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Well, I mean, he looks so exhausted. <laughs> and they zoomed in on him. I'm like, golly, let the man breathe. My goodness. But can you imagine being exhausted and then have to go put your arms up to shoot two free throws? And, make and you them nail both of them? Nailed it. Yeah. That's Jimmy. Jimmy Buckets. They don't call him Jimmy Buckets for nothing. <laughs> it's, it's more about your mental toughness. And I think that's what he has as well as the physical aspect. But mm -hmm. the mental toughness is what gets you through. Like that that's when you don't have strength wise, physical wise, you don't have no more to give. But if you don't have that mental toughness, which, which what I love about Jimmy Butler, he has that. Yes. And it's it's great to watch. It's great to watch. It's inspiring to watch because you do have moments in your life where you're like, I can't move no more. I cannot go any further. And something about who you are as a person, if you have that, you know, innate mm -hmm. skill in you, you're able to move forward. And Jimmy displays that when he gives 47 minutes, he only sat down for timeouts, which they don't count, right? Mm -hmm. Half time, which they don't count. And he actually was out of the game for like 48 minutes. Yeah, 48, 48 seconds, something like that. Yeah. What? Unbelievable. Yeah. Maximum effort stamina. the entire time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He rested. Yeah. That's some good stamina right there. So, but it, but he lead when they say he leaves it on the court, you know he did. It's not yeah. just talk. Like I can you can physically see he left it all on the court. And I appreciate that. Yeah, it's feel good basketball when you watch it. That's it's feel it good. Mm -hmm. Yes, feel good basketball. Uh-huh. Okay, now let me tell you. Let me tell you, the, the, the Heat have this rookie by the name of Kendrick Nunn. Who? Who where he come from? <laughs> Lakers weren't ready for Kendrick. They weren't ready for Kendrick. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, it, there is no way that Kendrick Nunn should have put up the points he put up in game five. No way. No way. Mm -mm. 14 points, four rebounds, and three assists. He even hit a three over and outstretched Dwight Howard's arm. Sure I said, okay, all right, Kendrick. Yes, I yes. need that. Yes, yep, yep, yep. Kendrick think... played well. Lakers weren't ready, and I expect them to uh, come up with some kind of game plan to shut him down for game six. Okay, I can see that. They would want to. They would want to. Mm -hmm. They would want to, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So Kendrick Nunn was a really highlight. He was a, a nice feature for the Heat, and he showed up as well. Anytime you have your core players, even though they may not be starters, but they're in rotation, putting up double digits. And mm -hmm. they look, the Heat only played 70. Mm -hmm. Eric supposed to shorten his rotation. Mm -hmm. He didn't play Myers Leonard and he didn't play Kelly Olenek. So, which I was surprised. I was surprised that Kelly wasn't in the game. Actually, when I was watching the game, hey, Kelly get on the floor tonight. I was expecting Kelly to be there in some capacity, right? Myers mm -hmm. Leonard would have been nice too, but I wasn't looking for Myers Leonard. Yeah. I was actually yeah. looking for Kelly. I was like, oh, Kelly's not on the floor. But Whatever my whatever Spolstra decided to do, it worked. Yes. It worked. Yeah. They had the pick and roll going pretty good with um, I want to say either Kendrick and Jimmy. They did the small pick and roll, or um, it was either Duncan and Jimmy. And that's a lot of times how Duncan was able to get open for the yeah. three. Bang, swish. Oh man, that was so good. So, so good. um a lot of people are talking about Jimmy's triple double and Duncan's great game, but I think a lot of attention needs to go to Tyler Hero's clutch free throws. The only two free throws he shot in the game, <laughs> and he made both of them as a rookie. As a rookie, his two free throws actually afforded the um, Miami Heat to go up one point. Yeah, cool. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Like and it was so effortless. You cannot discount when people are comfortable, right? So right now, Tyler Hero has no expectations. Oh yeah. This and and, and he needs to ride this season all the way out with great performance, right? Because mm -hmm. next year it's gonna be a whole different game. But this year, he did he's I mean, the fact that he was able to come in, and I think he had just gotten into the game too. He wasn't in there long. Mm -hmm. And to get the Two points that actually sent the heat into the winning spot to, you know, potential to win at that time was amazing. Was yeah. Amazing. I mean, that's just as a, he's a 19 year old. I don't want to call him a kid. He's a young man. But mm -hmm. golly, he, he, this is his first NBA finals. First NBA finals for everybody that played the last couple of seconds in the NBA in game six. 
It's the first Ooh. NBA finals for them. So can Ooh. you imagine the nervous jitters they had? But they were just focused and like, hey, you know what? At the end of the day, it's just basketball. That's, that's all it is. You know, because he he actually was drafted first round pick number 13. So the Heat saw something in him. But not only did they see something in him, they knew that he would be able to rise to the occasion. He proved that he would be able to rise to the occasion. Because mm -hmm. technically, he should be on the bench. Really, he should. He's really playing right now. He's a rookie. He should be watching, mm -hmm. maybe get in some minutes, but he's playing major minutes. Yeah. He's Everybody knows his name. Shots, game mm -hmm. determining shots. And to be a rookie to do that at his age is amazing. It's it amazing. is amazing. amazing. You know, something about the Heat culture, you know, they, they, it seemed like they look for players who are not the first, second, third pick. Because usually those players have been entitled their entire lives. Yes. They didn't yes. get anything from the mud. Everything was given to them. It seems like the Heat, they love just like, you know, who's this guy number uh, on the 15th pick, the 13th pick? Who's this guy in the second round, the 10th pick? Let's take a look at him. Something about that drives them. And I like that about Miami. It is a cool culture. And I think it is something that people can aspire to be. You don't always have to be the number one pick to be the best. And mm -hmm. I think sometimes we over promote number one picks, i.e. Zion Williamson, <laughs> different topic, different day. Yes. I just think that there are other players that are playing in the NBA right now that may not have been top one through five picks that are amazing players. And so I love to see when people who are not heavily talked about, heavily promoted, show up and do it. And it just proves that your mental toughness and your skill can, and your determination can be something that can get you noticed. And so yeah. I just, I love it. I love, that's what they say. They're like the heated, they, they, they claim to be dogs. You know, we the dog, we from the gutter, we from the dirt. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. it's feel good basketball watching y'all play. I'm just telling you, I don't get the same feeling when I see the Lakers play. And maybe that's why. I am not as connected to them. And it's so weird because it wasn't, I just, it's just a weird type of, when I watch them, it's just something different. But when I see the heat, I feel like I can be connected to them because of their realness and authenticity. I think that's something uh, I like too. Yeah. Ooh, it was a good game. Very good it game. Was. Congratulations to Heat. You, to the Heat, you guys deserve that win. You played and your team members showed all the way up. All the way yep. up. Yep. Looking forward to game six, you guys. So write in the comments if you think the Heat will force a game seven. I know we're just looking at game six, but I want to know if you guys believe the Heat will force a game seven against the Los Angeles Lakers. And if you agree with me or if you agree with eBay, let me know in the comments. All right, y'all. <laughs> all right, you guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you all for tuning in. See you guys. Peace.